In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your Power BI report, how you can get an embed code and you can email it to someone, or like this, you can host it in your own website. Really great for a resume or to show your portfolio of work. Um, and the new feature where you can actually have an image instead of loading the report as is. So I have an image here and here I click and the report loads. So I'll show you how to do that right now. This is my COVID-19 report. I do have a copy of this on my blog if you want to download it and have a go with it. But what we're going to do now is show you how you can publish it to the web. And by publishing it to the web, you can host it on your own website. So here's our report in the Power BI service. If I head over to the three dots and I can click on embed and publish to the web. Now this might not be available to you. And if it isn't, what you need to do is if you are a Power BI admin, you can go to the settings options here in the admin portal. When you're in the admin portal, go to the tenant settings. And if we scroll down, here's the option publish to the web. It has a warning here, contents. So anyone can see this data and has access to this data. So do be careful when you're publishing to the web. Um, but here you can see for me, I have it enabled. Um, so you can turn it off. And there's a few options here. You can allow certain people in certain AD groups to publish to the web if you don't want the whole organization to be able to publish to the web. So this is where you can control that. Uh, you can look at the embed codes. So you can click here or you can just click straight here. And here I can see every publish to the web organization. Sorry, report my whole organization has. So I have 37. Um, I can export them as well. So if you are your Power BI admin, you can do this. If you're not the Power BI admin, uh, you will have to talk to your Power BI admin for giving you permissions to publish to the web. Discard those changes. So I'll just go back to my report. So I am the admin and I do have permissions to do it. And that's why when I go to embed, I can see publish to the web, make it public. So if I click on that, Here's the options here. So I can see the report just as it will appear in the website. Um, you know, I can click on it and engage them. If I copy this link, um, this is just a URL. So I could send that in an email to somebody who want to have a look at this public Power BI report. What I'm going to use is this one here, which is an iframe and an iframe you can put within a website and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so I can pick certain sizes. This doesn't really matter because we can we can edit it within here. Um, but what is new is this upload ability. So you can see here I have an actual live report. If I click on upload, I can just grab an image and it's going to apply the image here. And now it has this yellow box view interactive content. This is really good because it'll save load time. Um, so, you know, it's just loading that image and not loading the report. And especially for my gallery on my website, I have 10 or 15 reports. It takes a really long time. So I can set the page as well. So I'm just going to leave it on world, which is the first page. So that is done. Let's copy this. Head over to my website. So I'm in as an administrator. So this is a WordPress website can click in here. What I need is HTML. Here we have custom HTML. So I click on custom HTML. I drop that iframe in there and I click on preview and that's it. That's all I need to do. Um, so this is how it will appear. Click on view content and then it's going to go and load the report. Um, you can edit the size. So here the width is 600. Um, you could make this 500, you know, depending on the size of your report. So 
that's all you need to do. Um, feel free to go over to my website, datadale.com.au. Um, I do have a gallery um, and you can just see what this looks like. This, this page used to take a long time to load, um, but now obviously with this view interactive content, it loads a lot faster. So if you're interested in different types of Power BI reports, feel free to go over to my gallery. I'll put the link down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in Power BI tips and tricks. And I'll see you next time.